Hello, hello, hello. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to an another easy recipe video with me that is Stella Sentinel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make an easy recipe with minimum of ingredients in a lots of delicious ways. And one more thing, if you are new to my channel, then please do subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up and share with your family and friends as many as you can. And if you try any of my recipes, please do tag me on Instagram. I would love to see the pictures. So without any delay, let's start. We all love Maggie, isn't it? And this looks sensational. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make an amazing and crispy Maggie pizza at home. It will be super cheesy and we are not going to use any oven to make this outstanding pizza. So let's get cooking! There's nothing to show how to cook Maggie, right? Still, let's have a quick look of making the Maggie. First, take 1.5 cup of water and give it a boil. Add 2 packets of regular Maggie. Now, cook it up to 80%. Then, add the taste makers. Make the Maggie not so soupy, not so dry. Now add cornstarch. If you have no cornstarch, then simply use rice flour. Mix it uniformly as it will bind the noodles with one another and the base will be solid and you will get the perfect pizza base. Now turn off the flame and spread the Maggie uniformly with the help of a spatula and cover it for 15 to 20 minutes to set. After an interval of 20 minutes, it's time to get it out of the pan. Here is the ninja technique that I have used to do this. Now again, it's time to place it straight. So flip it. For the toppings, you can use any of your favorite one. Here I am using mushrooms, scones, bell peppers, tomato, onion and last but not the least the paneer. You can use also olive and jalapenos if you like them. Here now, I'm gonna spread the pizza sauce on it. You can use tomato ketchup or even red chili sauce too to make it a little bit spicy. Then I am using some mayo on top of this and spread it evenly. I'm arranging those toppings in my way. You can just dump it all along. And one thing guys, as I have said earlier, cook the Maggie up to 80% cause we will ship the Maggie on a pan too, unless it will be overcooked. But we want our Maggie to be crispy from the bottom and super cheesy from the up, right? Now the toppings is ready for me. See, it's super easy. As I have said, now add cheese of your choice. I am using this cheese bar and I'm gonna grate it evenly on my pizza like this. Next, add some oregano followed by the chili flakes and the black pepper too. Isn't it looking yum? Now place the whole thing on a non-stick pan. We are not going to use any oil or butter on this. Just put the pizza on the pan and keep it on a medium flame and cover it for 4 to 5 minutes. See how easily I have transferred it to a pan and the cornstarch really worked well for the base. Meanwhile, let's make the fresh fruit drink out of mango. It's summer right and nothing beats the mango in summer. Put some mint leaves, add some ice cubes and pour the freshly brewed mango juice. And you are ready. Now let's take a look of the pizza. Wow, this looks sensational. It's done and the cheese is melted. There you go guys, our Maggie pizza is done. This looks awesome. Now take it out into a plate. If you love Maggie or cheese Maggie, you are gonna love this recipe. And even if you have a doubt then how it will turn out, then I insist to try it out at home cause the flavor is outstanding. With crispy bottom and top is super cheesy like a normal pizza. So try it out and share your views with me how it goes for you guys. Till then goodbye and see you on my next video.